Hey everyone, in this video I was fortunate enough to attend the Irish premiere for Banshees of Inna Sharon, where I got to interview Colin Farrell, Brendan Gleeson and Martin McDonough. Without a doubt this is one of the greatest things I've gotten to do on this channel, Grateful doesn't even begin to cover it. At the end I'll be talking more about it but for now here are the interviews and thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoy. Mission, when you're doing a film set in Ireland does it make it that bit more personal as a filmmaker? It does instantly, you know you're dead right. You're dead. Daniel, this is Brendan. Your dad, how are you? How are you? Daniel started his own channel on YouTube there a couple of years ago and he's yeah. been just making it happen. And it does, it's always more personal when I get home. As you mentioned yourself, whether it's intermission or on Dean or, or this, you know, it, it means a lot. Just to come home and I know I'm going to see my family, be friends, and also the, any of the stories that I've shot in Dublin or on the West Coast in uh, Castletown Bear where on Dean was set yeah. or Ackle and uh, Inish Moore like this was set. They're always personal because they're Irish stories. Yeah, they're always yeah. seeped in, a, in, in kind of cultural details and so of course there's a deeper connection instantly you know yeah and so is it the same for you when you're filming stories in Ireland does it make it that bit more personal as an actor as an artist I think the yeah, it's, it's the small the nods and winks the cultural sort of uh, yeah. Yeah. cultural instincts are so complete that it gets a lot of stuff out of the way yeah. uh, you know you can delve in a little bit deeper a little bit more quickly because it's just waiting to happen for you it's, it's, you understand you understand the idioms at least yeah. you should do yeah. And then the place itself kind of speaks in a different way, so yeah. yeah. Is it different to a studio film in that regard when it's a lot more personal as a story? Because at the end of the day, it's a story about two friends. This you know. Film? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. And we worked with Martin 14 years ago on a thing called In Bruges, which was set, funnily enough, in Bruges. Yeah. And it, it was lovely and it was brilliant and we got on like a house on fire from day one. To come home and do this story now, yeah. which as Brendan said, has obviously a very kind of cultural bent to it as well and has a lot of refer referential touchstones yeah. uh, in relation to our Irish history. It was magic to come home with Martin again and do that on the West Coast last summer. It's just magic, you know. And the scale of it too, the scale of the landscape and the way he shot it is so, it's epic. Yeah. So it means it elevates the scene of the story. Very personal, small. intimate story at the centre set yeah. to these it the elevates it. backdrops, you know. That's it, that's, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go on TV. Yeah, my, my first red carpet, you know, they got my name printed, which means I'm doing something right. Hey. Uh, but that just shows, you know, so if anything, it's your honour to be interviewed by me. So uh, there really? you go. Yeah, so let's just jump we'll right into it. Yeah. Uh, no, but see first things first. Get. Yeah, well, listen, I'll just start, just start listing off all the reasons. Uh, but no, so first things first, I mean, Banshees, obviously you look at your career, you know, whether it be in Bruges, there's these two Irish hitmen, seven psychopaths, Irish screenwriter, and even in your plays, you see these links of Irishness. And I know you and your brother came to Ireland a lot growing up in your English Irish. Do you feel like when you're telling a story set in Ireland that makes it a lot more personal to you as a filmmaker? I think so. It's, it's felt that way with this one. I mean, even in Bruges, it felt like a very Irish film to me because the yeah. boys are Irish and, you know, I'm half Irish or whatever the hell I am. But this one especially, like the whole like the whole cast was Irish. It's set in Ireland in the most beautiful places in Ireland. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... that's Like, even at weekends after shooting on Innes Moor, I go back and stay in my mum and dad's place because it was on the road really? from, from Galway to, to, to where you get the ferry from. Yeah. yeah. So so yeah, it felt very very personal actually. I'll, I'll be interested to see, you know, when you make a personal story, it's it's great to see if it connects with other people. And, totally. and so far this one has. So we'll see how it goes here. Yeah. And you look at your films, and the way I always feel is that they're very character driven. Whether it be Dixon's Silent Rage and something like Three Billboards, or you know Ray's grief and guilt in in Bruges. Would you describe this as a character driven film? Completely, yeah. yeah. It's, it's there's very little plot really. Yeah. It's probably my le least plotty, and even the plotty ones had, I hope, great characters in them too. But this is like all about characters, not just Colin and Brendan, but Kerry Condon's character and Barry Keoghan. They're, yeah. they're all brilliant. Uh, even the smaller characters, like Gary Lydon, everybody in the film, their character. It's, it's all about the character, less about the plot, and I like that. And maybe it's the direction I'm going in next. Yeah, oh, I cannot thank you enough for telling me you are my Thanks favorite you. filmmaker. Oh, it's been <laughs> such an absolute honor. Are you, are you going to get to see this tonight, or soon? Yeah. So there you go, those were my interviews with Colin Farrell, Brendan Gleeson and Martin McDonough. They absolutely could not have been any kinder. And Colin introducing me to Brendan and naming my YouTube channel was, I mean, absolutely surreal. I'll be thinking about that for the next few months anyway. Uh, but Colin was immensely kind. He's one of my favourite actors and I've wanted to chat with him for so long. Uh, he's incredibly smart and very articulate. Getting to chat with him and Brendan was such an honour. I mean, Brendan is an absolute staple in Irish films. I mean, he's a bona fide legend. 
imagine and he couldn't have been kinder getting to chat with the pair of them was a fantastic experience uh, but on top of that getting to talk with Martin McDonough Martin McDonough is my favourite director, I mean, arguably of all time. I'm such a huge fan of his work. I mean, you look at his career, it's hard not to be from In Bruges to Seven Psychopaths to Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri, and now Banshees of Inner Sharon. Um, he's an absolute genius, and he's such, such a nice guy. So getting to talk with him was such an honour. Actually, after the interviews, I was fortunate enough to attend a screening of uh, Banshees of Inner Sharon, and what a film. Oh, man, I, I'd probably have to make a completely separate video just reviewing it but it's such a great film it's a beautifully haunting movie i mean although it's just about two friends uh, martin mcdonough's visual style helps make it this grandiose and large story visually it's beautiful i mean career best performances from colin farrell brendan gleason barry keoghan and kerry condon it, it was such a great film i i'm probably gonna watch it again just because i love this so much it you know like i said I, I kind of expected that going in knowing who martin mcdonough is but i'd be very surprised if it's not nominated for an oscar you should all go check it out it comes out october 21st uh, but this was the first time i ever heard a cinema clap after a film so i mean obviously we all enjoyed it but funny enough afterwards as i was leaving the cinema i got to bump into martin mcdonough and graham broadbent i didn't even expect to see them but i bumped into them on the way out and i got to take a quick picture with them they couldn't have been any kinder as well graham is a fantastic producer and he's worked on a few of martin's projects and martin is of course like I said, one of my favourite directors, but the, it was an absolutely amazing experience. My first red carpet, they printed my name out, which meant I'm, I'm doing something right. Uh, but yeah, everyone go check out the film. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed and allow me a minute to shout out the amazing Mark Stephen Johnson. Mark, thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.